Next up, uh, Ms. Nia Peterson. Good evening, my name is Tania Peterson. Um, Ms. Seamus and Mr. Jones dragged me to the Eastern Shore. <laughs> <laughs> um, and since they did this, I made them take me to the Harriet Tubman Museum because it opened up that week. I enjoy learning about her and it was also my birthday. But when I got there, I realized that it wasn't an actual toilet. Um, there was no flusher, so it was a porta potty that <laughs> it's how to apply this. I asked Miss Page about it and she told us that it was to no compost. Yes. The waste falls down in the bottom of the clivus, and since the air pressure outside is different from the air pressure inside, the fumes are kept in the clivus by keeping the lid shut. <laughs> they use the clivus because the waste turns into pathogen-free compost that is used to fertilize the gardens, and it is also used to fill in areas of erosion in the marshlands. That's what we were swimming in. <laughs> 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 and there were no showers, so thank God for baby wipes. <laughs> Um, during our meal times, though, we had jobs that controlled people wasting food. SLOP is, it stands for stuff left on plate. And it was my job to make sure that everyone ate all the food they took. So we literally, we licked the plate clean. <laughs> And as we washed them, there were three sinks. One was filled with hot water and bleach. One was filled with just water. And the other one was filled with soap. So instead of having the water running, we would just wash the dishes that way, and we all participated in doing that. Well, when we went on our treasure hunt, I held a deer leg. The whole pelvis, it was still skin and everything. It smelled horrible, and I wanted to take it home. But. We were collecting fish, and fish ended up in my boots. <laughs> it was fun, but the purpose of this trip was to learn how to fit water conservation into our daily lives and to show more care towards the Chesapeake Bay. The camp assistants there made sure to bring to our attention the energy wasting and damaging things that we all do that takes away the purposeful life the bay gives us all. We could protect the bay from a distance by using less water, composting, turning lights off, and getting up to dispose of trash the white way instead of littering. The wildlife that lives in our bay have just as much as, li as right to life as we do. Nice job.